your favorite roommate on any cricket tour? It could be a USA tour. It could be a non-USA national team tour. Who's your favorite roommate you've been paired with? Uh, probably Sindhu Sriharsha. You're going to score a lot of points. Name of the captain is your favorite roommate. Tell us why. Why is Sindhu Sriharsha your favorite roommate? I think our relationship has really grown from the starting. I was so intimidated of her when I first got selected for the team. And now it's like WhatsApping about random TV shows. So I think we grew closer after we've been roommates. I roomed with her twice, actually. Um, for fair break, I roomed with her. And I roomed with her for the qualifiers against Canada, where I first debuted. And she's also, she brings me cookies from the lobby when I ask. <laughs> Your favorite thing to do to pass the time on a 14-hour flight from California to Australia? Watching Netflix. I wish that was something I could have done instead of SAT prep or homework. <laughs> Your favorite cricket ground experience that you've had as a player or as a fan and that includes the quality of the pitches, the quality of the outfields, just the overall scenery of the cricket ground, the training facilities, the lunches, anything that goes into a cricket match experience. What's the favorite place you've been to for a cricket match anywhere in the world? That would probably be the Bowral ground in Australia when I went to Fairbreak. I got to play at that ground, but fan-wise, we went to Lords as the USA women's team. And I didn't see any cricket matches happening over there, but just the sheer size of the Lord's uh, ground was just so eye-opening and amazing to see. And hopefully one day we'll be playing there and there will be crowds in the stadium. Your favorite place to eat out on tour? I'd say Olive Garden for restaurants and Taco Bell for something you got to pick up and go home fast. Your favorite cricketer of all time? Elise Perry. I think the way like her hard work and her dedication shows throughout her game, and she's just someone I've been looking forward, I mean, looking up to for a long time. Your favorite non-cricket athlete of all time? Uh, that would probably be Steph Curry. I'm not a very big watcher of sports, but back when I lived in California, I did go to a couple of Warriors games basketball and Steph Curry was always the one I was looking at on that in that stadium your favorite pizza topping onions I love onions <laughs> yeah <laughs> are you a coke or a pepsi person coke over pepsi but I don't drink either a lot <laughs> that's all right you said you said coke that's all that matters it doesn't matter how often if you could not play for the USA national team in cricket, which other sport would you most want to represent the USA national team in? Probably softball would be the sport that I would. And I think it's really close to cricket in terms of the way other people look at it. So USA softball. Your favorite movie of all time? Um, my favorite movie is probably Up. It's a childhood movie, and I've watched it a countless number of times, so never fails to amuse. Your favorite show to binge watch, whether it's on Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Paramount Plus, what's your go-to show that if you're stuck in quarantine or you're, you're stuck somewhere else, you, you can't get enough of it and it helps you pass the time? Uh, Grey's Anatomy. I'm a proud Grey's Anatomy 17 season uh, fan. I have not rewatched it, but I uh, love every single episode and it always makes me pass time. What now? What did you get into Grey's Anatomy? Again, you just said 17 years show. You're 17. So you, you were barely born when the show first started on the air. <laughs> How did you get into it? I think I just it was just one of those shows that was in the top 10 for Netflix. And I just gave it a shot and I'm, I stuck with it all 17 seasons. And my family even joined me for the first couple of seasons. They couldn't take any more after the first six or so. 